Hey there, in this tutorial we will learn about CSS selectors. In a class full of students, if a teacher has to pick any one student to answer a question, how will the teacher do that? Obviously, the teacher will call out the student's name because every student has a name and then ask the question. Similarly, to style a particular tag in an HTML document which has a lot of tags, we must first select that particular element and then add styling to it. There are three types of CSS selectors, element selectors, ID selectors and class selectors. Let's try to understand how these three types of CSS selectors work and why they are required at all. As you can see on the screen, we have a paragraph tag with some text in it and we also have a heading tag. Let's add two more paragraph tags. If we want to add style to these paragraph tags, we can do so using the element selector which is our first type of CSS selector. All you have to do is inside the style tag here, write P which is the name of the tag, curly braces start, write the CSS rule that you want to add, let's say color red, curly braces close. See the color of the text for all the paragraph tags has changed to red. So now we know that we can use the name of the tag to add style to it. Let's use the same technique for the heading tag as well. H1, curly braces start. Let's provide a different CSS rule for this one. Do not worry about the CSS rule if we are just starting with CSS. For this one, we will add background color as yellow. Now as you can see, the heading has the background color as yellow. If we add more H1 headings to our HTML document, the same style will be applicable for them as well. Element selector is generally used when you want to apply a base styling to any element or tag, like if you want all the paragraph text on a web page to appear in a certain font, or setting font size, or color, like we did in our live example. Next comes the ID selector and class selector. The ID selector and the class selectors works the same way as they both are used to style HTML tags. The only difference between these two is that an ID selector is used when we want to style a single HTML tag in our web page, while a class selector can be used with any number of HTML tags in an HTML document. And the tags don't even have to be of the same kind. Let's see the syntax for ID selector first and then we'll take an example to demonstrate the usage of ID selector. The ID selector is specified in an HTML tag by adding an attribute ID with a unique value to it. For example, let's add a P tag with an ID having a value my P tag. And to provide CSS styling for the ID selector, we use a hash symbol along with the ID attribute value and then provide the CSS styling. Let's take an example. As we have already added a P tag with an ID value my P tag, so now let's add the styling for the same. So we will write a hash followed by the ID attribute value and then we will add our CSS rule. Let's say color blue. Now as you can see, that the paragraph tag with the ID attribute my p tag has blue text while the others are still red. So this is how an ID selector works. Now it's time for class selector. The class selector is specified in an HTML tag by adding attribute class with a value, for example, p class my p class and then some text can be added and then the closing p tag. And to provide CSS styling for the class selector, we use a dot symbol along with 
the class attribute value and then provide the CSS styling. As we have already added a P tag with a class specified as my P class in our HTML document, let's add some styling for this. So we will write a dot followed by the class attribute value and then we will add our CSS rule. This time, let's say background color pink. Now as you can see that the paragraph tag with the class attribute my p class now has a background color of pink. Now let's add the same class to a few more tags. Let's add to one more p tag and one heading tag as well. As we can see that the background color for these tags as well is now pink. So this is how the three different CSS selectors work. Hope you had a nice time learning about the CSS selectors. See you in the next video.